Sunday morning too at 3 o'clock. I'm Meg Gatto. And I'm Kelsey Davis. Of course, we're following what's happening with now Category 4 storm Hurricane Ida. Let's get Tracy McCondron Wood for the latest. And we have been tracking this storm, and here it is. It's expected to be a 4. It is a 4. Just off the Louisiana coast, we saw this upgraded about 2 a.m. Special report came out after Hurricane Hunters found a 133 mile per hour wind in their pass through the storm a little while ago. I mean, I've been talking about this all night. It is a very impressive hurricane on that satellite and you really just see a lot of features that lets you know that this is a strong storm. Clear eye, pretty concentric. You can see a little bit of that edge in there with the cloud cover, but I'm going to show you a radar image as well. And the, in, the radar image just really shows where those thunderstorm cloud tops cut off and you just got this perfect circle in there. Lots of strong outflow. You see those ripples in the clouds. That's another indication of, hey, this is a healthy storm. It is venting. It's got a small eye that's closing up a little bit more even it looks like. Those are all indications of a strong, strengthening storm. And that's one of the things that's, you know, a worry for us tonight as you're seeing a strengthening storm moving towards the coast. Now, we've reached that 130 mile per hour mark as a category four, still moving northwest at 15. And we're only about 175 miles to the southeast of Homa. And remember, Homa's a little inland, so we're making that track. It's expected to see a landfall around 1 p.m., but by this time, by this 6, 7 a.m. time period, you're going to be seeing some serious effects already as we move inland with the tropical storm force winds being a good 120 to 140 miles out from the center of the storm. 100 mile per hour winds still expected as the system moves through the river parishes and then it's going to be a while we're going all the way through monday where there's going to be tropical storm force winds still affecting the region pretty much through daybreak so it's about a 24 hour period that we'll be dealing with this storm when watching this last pass come through measured 108 mile per hour wind we saw that pressure coming down here's back through the center that dot is going to tell you where the hurricane hunter said okay that's the center that we're looking at there we go, another 944 millibar. And I kind of jumped past where they got that measurement of 133. Now it's heading on back. We're going to see another plane coming out there shortly and update the graphics so that we can get the new information on that. We're starting to get buoy data though, fairly close to where the storm is. This buoy right off the mouth of the river has really been showing us those high gusts here for the last couple of hours. And even as we get in a little bit closer, and Pilot Town reported, out at Southwest Pass, they reported, hey, we are seeing hurricane conditions or tropical storm conditions, I should say. Those 20s and 30s, they are a little bit farther in at actual pilot town. And as some of those little streamer storms come by, Grand Island has been picking up some impressive winds as well in the 30 mile per hour range. We're obviously going to see all of that increasing shortly. The buoys, check it out. We've been monitoring this one right here. And boy, it's going from 18 to 21 to 23 our satellite derivation where they come in and say okay what do the waves look like out there 30 foot waves likely in this area and that buoy seems to really go along with it because it would be in this little area where you're going from the white to the purple that would indicate yeah we'd be seeing 23 foot waves in that region now here is our hurricane with the satellite and radar overlaid and i mentioned you know, it's getting closer and closer to land, so we're getting a good view here of where our eyeball is as far as the thunderstorms are concerned. And look at that perfect circle that's showing up in there. You got the perfect circle of the storms, and then you've got just a little bit of cloud cover that's kind of sitting over the eye. The red indicates that these are hurricane warning areas, and that's going to mean that, hey, we're getting a hurricane. That's what's happening if you maybe gone to sleep and you're just waking up and you're thinking, okay, let's see what's happening with this storm. We've got tropical storm warnings all along the Mississippi coast and when to be ready, now is the time to be ready because, I mean, it's here. We're going to start seeing rapid deterioration along the coastline. This is 5 a.m., so we're just a couple of hours away from that and then it's quickly going to be spreading inland as we go through 6, 7 a.m., 
we'll see those tropical storm force winds spreading all the way into the areas north of Lake Pontchartrain along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And then our hurricane force gusts and sustained winds really moving in through St. Bernard, Plaquemine, Lafourche, heading right into the metro area here as we get into midday. My big takeaway for folks here, if maybe you're just getting up, maybe yesterday you did a lot of preps and you thought, you know what, I think I want to evacuate, but I don't want to leave now. I'm tired. I'm going to get some rest and I'll get up early. I'm going to, I'm going to leave early. Okay, if you're getting up right now, and this is the first time that you are seeing that this storm is a Category 4 storm, and it, the forecast came to fruition, and I don't want to stick around for it, this is really your last time to get on the road. We don't have a lot of time before we really start seeing the weather go way downhill. We're already going to be dealing with some passing storms that are already starting to move in. I'm going to try to get to, I know we said we're going to keep these a little bit shorter. I want to try to get to the radar and let everybody see where those storms are already starting to fly by. We, of course, are watching for the storm surge as well, definitely dealing with that higher storm surge and our rain bands that are beginning to come in. But as we are starting to see the rain coming in, that's going to make it more dangerous to get out on the roadways. Winds are going to start coming up very shortly. If you've been waffling, like I said, if you're getting up right now, you can still make it out. But we don't want to wait any longer. We don't want to wait until 5. We don't want to wait until 6. We don't want to wait until 7. Because at that point, we're going to be seeing the deteriorating conditions all across the region. And it's going to be a problem at that point to get out. We're going to be running into a lot of issues. And we don't want anyone stuck on the roadway. So a lot more here. We're going to be busy through the day today. We'll be about 24 hours that we'll be dealing with the extent of this storm. So, the Congress, you know, obviously the people in the coastal areas, hopefully they're already out. A lot of those places had mandatory evacuation orders in place. The city of New Orleans are saying if you're just waking up now, now is the time to get out. The North Shore folks, they've got a little bit more time, but really they should hit the road now if possible. That's it. I mean, I, I think anywhere in the area at this point, because this is what I was trying to get you. I wanted to get to our Viper radar. We've already got these feeder bands that are moving in. Sometimes within these bands, this is where you have the opportunity to possibly see uh, tornadoes forming. You can, uh, you know, you already have to deal with maybe some of that torrential blinding rain. Wet roadways are a problem. And I'm getting in a little bit tighter so that you can see you know, the bright reds in here indicate that that's just some heavy rain that's coming by and we're starting to see that already. This is before the high winds and those high winds are not far behind. And the country mentioned people in, in the New Orleans metro will start feeling those impacts later, but according to what you're showing right now, they may already be seeing those impacts now. Yeah, we're, we're seeing the rain. The rain is beginning to move in. So we're talking about seeing those consistent 40 mile per hour winds. This, this, you know, that's when we're going to start you know, really needing to be off the roadways and out of here. You know, we can handle the rain. We, we travel in the heavy rain, but, you know, this starts to get to be a problem after a while. All right, thanks, Nicondra. Well, as we mentioned, mandatory evacuation.